Right, so once again, we are back again on air. Right, which means that here we have A equals the invested amount is actually 3,000. So you put 3,000 here into one plus, the interest rate is 15%. So when you have 15%, you actually uh, look at the fact that it's compounded monthly. And if it is compounded monthly, you have what? Right, so after six years. So, right, so it is actually exactly 15% divided by 12 times 100 raised to the power. So in other words, you take the 15 because it's 15% divided by 100, but it's because it's compounded monthly, there are 12 months in the year in a year, and then now you have 12 months in a year times uh, six, uh, times six years. So when you use your calculator to do this, you realize therefore that Jonathan will have um, exactly 5,000, 5,997 rand and six, um, and six cents. Okay, so that is what actually we get here. And so um, we sold it. We sold it. Right, so we continue now. And uh, then, in other words, calculate the amount that Jonathan will withdraw after six years. So Jonathan will actually withdraw exactly the amount of uh, 5,000. Um, and 997 grand and actually six um, cents, okay. Right, determining the principal amount, which is the initial amount, a car has a current value of 250,000. If the value depreciated a 13% per annum compounded quarterly, um, calculate the initial value of the car 10 years ago based on a reducing balance method Round off to the nearest rand. At this point, we realize that we're going to use the formula that says A equals. Right, because this is the current value of the car. The car depreciated. So this depreciation, depreciation means we're going to use the formula with the minus. Minus I to the power in like that, okay? Okay, so you continue. So now, what is the meaning of these? Um, right, so we have, we have that now the principal amount, how much is the principal amount here? Is 250,000. 250,000 into, the present value of the car is how much? It's P into one minus. What is the interest rate? It's 13% here. So you have 13 over, right, 12, which is, well, because it's compounded quarterly, they are, a quarter is a period of three months and there are four quarters every year times 100. Times a hundred is raised to the power. There are four quarters every year. Okay, there are four quarters every year, and then now is multiplied by twelve. Okay, is multiplied by twelve. Um, right, okay, it's multiplied by 10, because 10 years. Right, so it's multiplied by exactly 10. Right, so if it is multiplied by exactly 10, because they're 10 years. Okay. So, right, when you get to this point, we want to solve for P. How do we then solve for P? Okay, because they're exactly 10 years, we multiply by 10. How do you solve for P here? 
250. So you have this into 4 pi. 4 pi 100. Raised to the power 4 times 10. Okay, we have this. And then now we're going to use our calculator to, to divide everything. And if you divide everything, it actually gives us the money in the South African rent, which is 937. 937,348. And this is exactly the amount. So we have learned therefore that this is exactly the amount that um, obviously we are anticipated to um, determine as the as the principal amount or the initial amount. Determine determining the principal amount or the initial amount. In the initial amount is exactly that one. Okay, so we have that. Um, all right, so you continue. We continue. Next question, question two. Question two. By determining the nominal interest rate R, C so point invested fifteen thousand in a bank account in a banking account. After five years, he withdraws twenty eight thousand. Calculate the interest rate rounded to two decimal places um, per annum if it was compounded half yearly. So now I'm giving you three minutes to do this one. And then we're gonna do it together. Okay, let me know when you're done, please. Continue. Okay, let me know when you're done. All right, that's fine, we continue. I know you're trying, okay? Right, so at this point, because we're dealing, so we need to find the nominal interest rate. How do we ever find the nominal interest rate um, in this situation? But now you need to realize that obviously this is the case. So A equals P into, A a equals P into one plus I to the power N. 
So she put invested 15,000 into it in a banking account. After five years, he withdraws this. So in other words, after five years, the money had reached a, uh, a future value of 28,000 with the initial investment of 15,000. Into one plus um, I, the power N. After five years, he withdraws this amount of money, but it's compounded half yearly. And so if it's compounded half yearly, you can actually be able to deal with the following, right? So you can be able to deal with the fact that um, this exactly um, twice. You have two periods of, what is half yearly, so it's compounded like half yearly. So that, that is like two times a year, but obviously by five years. So uh, we, con we continue. 28,000. I'm sorry, sir. Yes, please. Isn't um half yearly six, because there uh, are 12 months in a year. Please come again. Isn't um half yearly six, since um we have 12 months in a year. Um, yeah, okay, I, I think how fear we have, I need, I need to make sure I understand you well so that I can uh, respond correctly. Um, by the two times five, aren't we supposed to write six times five since um, we have 12 months in a year and the half of 12 is six? Okay, <laughs> I hear you there. Because that's what I wrote. Like six months, isn't it? Yes. Yes, I agree. Half the year is six months. And now, obviously, we're not supposed to write that. Well, the truth is that, um, most importantly, um, we look at how many times you compound it. So how many, how many six months are there in one year? Obviously, we agree that um, uh, six months um, is a, you know, six months has six months in it, so, you know, half yearly. It's a period of six months, right? So if half year is a period of six months, so we can actually note clearly, therefore, um, that anyway, I can do it in many ways, but I can do, do, I can make a small change here. It's a nice change. Um, I can make a small change here. Hey, I could continue the way I've done, but obviously six months means it's twice a year. We're going to be practicing a lot of these questions today. Okay, we're just going to obviously stop, stop at six. I shall be doing a lot of them. So, yeah. So, now one thing I can do, which sometimes I like doing, is to actually um, bring about the following. So, at this point, when you have the interest rate, so you can write like that. You can write exactly like that. But now, this interest rate, normally you can write it as I, then you divide it by two times, two times, um, 100. which is raised to the power. Right, it's raised to the power. Now, how many years are there? There are five years by two, because um, there are five years, but you have um, you have half yearly. So there are two half years, two half years every year. So you can also do it like that. But I must indicate that it's not the only way to do it, or you can write it like this. Okay, it's very popular, 28, thousand into fifteen thousand one plus k okay. i raised to the power two half years by five years so you can do it either way 
So there are two methods that are acceptable. So in this case, if I need to solve for the i, okay. Right, but obviously if you solve for the i here, there's more work to do, but maybe I prepare this other one. So yeah. You know, so you divide here by 15,000, which is one plus i divided by 200 raised to the power 10. Okay, so we, we get this. After you got this, you can, you need to remove this power 10. How do you remove this power 10? You take, the, you raise it to the 10th root. You raise the left to the 10th root and you raise the right to the 10th root. So here, if you come here and, and you raise it to the 10th root, 10th root, of this. And then you raise these to these. Or what is the answer to these? Okay. So the answer to these, then I can put this one here. I can put this one in a block like this. Okay, maybe that's a block too big and make it a little smaller. So you have the tenth root, which is twenty eight thousand divided by fifteen thousand. which is one plus i over 200. So which means that you have the 10th root, which is 15,000. You subtract one, you minus the one moving it across and multiply it by the 200. Hey. Now we use a calculator to do this one. And if you use a calculator to do this one, it gives exactly I is equal to 12,88%. I is equal to 12,88%. Okay. So this is what happens, but look at what we did in this question, because the point inverted, so the amount of money that is inverted is like, it is the present value because it's inverted right now, so it's invested in the present. Right, after five years, it withdraws 28,000. So in other words, after five years, um, the amount had, we assume that the amount after five years will become 28,000 at a given rate, and so we go on to find the rate. We go on to find the rate that can do this. So now we need to calculate the interest rate rounded off to two decimal places. We have rounded off two decimal places. Per annum, if it was compounded half yearly, and we actually compounded it half yearly. So half yearly, therefore, is like a period of six months, but we look at how many times a year. How many times a year? So there are it's twice a year because the, we have the first six months, the first, the first six months, and the second, the second six months. So these periods of six months are successive in that manner. They're successive in that manner. All right. Next question. Next question. Next question. Next question. Right, the next question I'm giving you like three minutes to do it. Please try it in like three minutes. 2,650 was inverted in a fund. 
paying 5% per annum is compounded monthly. After 18 months, the fund had grown to a value of 3,000 and 4 rand and 53 cents. Calculate the interest rate. So I'm giving you like three minutes. It's nice, nice and short. Please let me know when you're done. <laughs> because these are worksheets, okay? It's a targeted worksheet. So it's a worksheet. I want us to work on it together so that you can understand what's happening. So that you can understand what's happening. Okay. We continue. Okay, please let me know when you're done. Okay. I'm sorry, can I ask something? Yes, please. Um, the power N is 18, right, in the song? Please come again. The power N. In yes, this, the power um, N. Yes, is it eight, 18? Okay, that's a good question. Is the power N 18? So obviously you need to think about this because the power N is... Because it's um, not in use, so I'm a bit confused. Yes, so normally the power n obviously. So in this case, it's going to be 18. Right, because it's after 18 months. The, 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 the fund had grown to that value. Calculate the interest rate. So we are saying six two thousand six hundred and fifty is was invested in a fund paying I percent per annum, compounded monthly. After 18 months, the fund had grown to a value of that much. So the value of the fund grew to that much. And then you need the interest rate. But it's compounded what? Monthly. Right. So obviously the N is there for 18 up there. Okay. Please let me know when you're done. All right, so thank you. I know that you tried. We are trying, but here is what exactly needs to happen here. 
So first and foremost, because these were... Um, sorry, sorry, yes, sorry. What did you get? Can I show you at least the way I... I yes, am. where you tried. Um, yes, please, you can show me. Okay, yeah, I can see it on the screen. Can you see? Yeah, I'm able to see it on the screen. Okay. Right, I'm able to see it on the screen. I lost the image again. <laughs> I lost the image again. What 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 final answer did you get uh, there? What final answer did you get? Sir. Yes, what final answer did you get? I wasn't done yet. I was oh, you're not done. Okay, that's yeah. fine. Right, because yes. obviously I, I I could see. Right, so um, it's awesome, awesome, awesome. But I can see that you are on track. But I was just interested in seeing precisely. Um, right. So, right. So, yeah. Okay. So, yeah. You're, you're on point because they just lost the image. Yeah, but. It's all right. It's all right. It's all right. All right. Okay, we're doing it now. So let's continue. All right, so you're on point, you're on point. Really, you're getting it right. So, right, because the investment, we use the formula with the plus. So, which means A equals P into one plus I with the power N. And what is the interest rate? For this, Amount of 2,750 was invested in a fund component monthly. After 18 months, it had grown to that value. So it had grown to 3,000 and 453 cents. At a present value of 2,650 into one plus. Right, so you have I divided by Okay, but because it's compounded monthly, you divide by 12. And now this here, after 18 months, the fund had grown to that value. Okay. Right, so we get this here. Right, Tsenulu. Hello, Tsenulu. Okay, the image came back. That's fine. Right, so, um, Tsenulu, are you here? Yes, sir. All right, thank you. Right, so we're doing finance. We're doing financial math, okay? Okay. Right, and I would have liked to have Bupiro joining us as well. Pure math. But, yeah, if she's able to join us. <laughs> but she told she me she's not, yeah, she's told me she did not contribute to the Wi-Fi. So are you, are, are you connected to Wi-Fi there? Yes, sir. All right, that's fine. Oh. Okay, so we're looking at this question here, and this mm. question is about, we're doing a worksheet on math of finance, 
And this worksheet is on financial mathematics. Targeted worksheet three, question three. And we are saying 2,650 was invested in a fund paying I percent per annum compounded monthly. After 18 months, the fund had grown to a value of 3,000 and four rand and 53 cents. Calculate the interest rate. So because it is an investment and we're expecting growth, we're expecting it to increase in value. So in other words, we use the formula with the plus. And then um, next. Right, so the 2,650 and then now, um, it is the present value because that's what was invested. It grew to this amount, this investment. After 18 months, the fund had grown to this. So the period is 18 months. The examiner did not give us in years. Nobody they give us in years, but they did not give us in years. If they'd given us in years, we're gonna multiply by 12. But there's nothing to multiply by 12 because it's already in months. Okay. So now in this finance question, we want to now find, calculate the interest rates. What is the interest rate? So we continue with this question. So we take 3,000. We take 3,453. We actually divide it by 2,650. And it is 1 plus i divided by 12 raised to the power 18 like this. So this implies this. So we continue and we proceed to this part of the of the screen. Right, so in the end, then we solve for, we actually want to remove this 18, so we shall have the 18th the root. The 18th root of 3,004 rand and 53 cents divided by 2650. You subtract one. Right, you subtract one from here. You have taken the 18th root. So the 18 is gone and subtracting one, but you must multiply by what? You must multiply by 12 that is at the bottom and this equals I. So the interest rate which they want right now is determined by the 18th root of this minus one. Then you multiply by 12. So what is the answer? The 18th root of this minus one multiply by 12. What's the answer? Right, if you work it out very carefully with the calculator taking the nth root, if you take the nth root of 3,004 rand and 53 cents divided by this minus one, you realize that it is actually 0, 0.084. 0, 0,084. And therefore, this one here, what is 0, 0,084? It is actually the same as 8,4%. 8,4%. Okay, 8,4, you can use the point system or the decimal comma system. So you can say 8,4% or you can use, um, 8.4 or comma, right. Next question, Pi. Pi bought a new car four years ago. He now wants to upgrade the, to the latest model. Four years ago, he invested 60,000 for four years at an interest rate of 9.6% per annum compounded monthly. You will use the investment to pay cash for the new car and use the old car as a trade-in. So he's going to trade in the old one and he's going to get the new one. Calculate the value of his current car. If he paid 160000 for it, 
the value of his current car if he paid 160,000 for it and it depreciated at 12% per annum on a reducing balance. Round off the answer to the nearest grand. Okay. Very easy. Okay, I'm giving you, because it's two marks, it's two marks, I'm giving you two minutes to do it. Okay, so two minutes to Tenulo, two minutes to the Google. And then when you're done, just say I'm done. I'm reading the question again as you're trying it because I'm, I'm interested in the answer because um, um, I'm not really be able to check now the steps, but I want you to know, I want you then to tell me the answer to the question, okay? I want to see if you can be able to analyze all these because Kai bought a new car. That's 3.2 we're focusing on, this one. Kai bought a new car four years ago. He now wants to upgrade to the latest model. Four years ago, he invested 60,000 for four years at an interest rate of 9.6% per annum compounded monthly. He will use the investment to pay cash for the new car and use the old car as a trade-in. So now he wants to get a new car. So he's going to trade in the old one and then get the new one. Calculate the value of his current car. If he paid 160000 for it and depreciated, and it depreciated at 12% per annum on a reducing balance, round off the answer to the nearest rand. So this is what we get. Two minutes. Okay, let me know when you're done. Okay, done, folks. Too easy, this question, right?
Okay, you still here? Right. Yes, I'm still here. All right, that's fine. <laughs> I want to see analysis. I want to see if you can analyze this question. Okay, I'm giving you like two more minutes. So I won't lie, it's a bit complicated, so I'm trying to process it. Please come again. So I'm saying that um, the sum has a lot of data, so I'm trying to process it. But I'm okay, that's fine. So yeah, trying. I'm giving you two more minutes as you're trying to process it because there's a lot of data, right? There's a lot of information. Can you remove a lot of the red lines that are here? They might just be. Daniel, are you here, right, Daniel? Yes, sir. All right. I'm giving you two more minutes to do 3.2. Two more minutes, we're doing Anyone done yet? You done, Senulo? No, sir. Are you able to see the question? Yes, sir, I can see. Okay, thank you. I'm giving you one more minute, then we shall do it together. Okay, sir. All right. All right, I can see that you're processing, but in the end, you must get the answer. So now, because this one is a depreciation case, so it depreciated to see what are we supposed to do? It's not a question of the story. The story is long, but it's giving us N with being the number of years. So the number of years here is N equals four. And obviously now, in other words, car bought a new car four years ago. 
He now wants to upgrade to the latest model. Four years ago, he invested 60,000 for four years at an interest rate of 9.6% per annum compounded monthly. Okay, so you note that one. He will use the investment to pay cash for the new car and use the old car as a trading. Calculate the new value or rather the value of his current car if he paid 160,000 for it. He paid 160,000 for it and it depreciated at 12% per annum on a reducing balance. So we sold it. We sold it. Yes, we are sorted. Yeah. So now I'm just giving the steps here because it's a very short, very, very short answer. Okay. So now what we need here to solve this question, the reducing balance is A equals P into 1 plus 1 minus. So A equals P into 1 minus because now you're dealing with the with a reducing balance, so you're reducing. So you put a minus i to the power n. That is the formula. So a equals, what is the present value now of the car? You need to calculate the value of his current car. If he paid this much for it, and it depreciated this much on the reducing balance, okay? So in other words, he paid 160,000 into one minus. And now it depreciated 12%. So you put 12 divided by 100. Right, so um, to the power, how many years? It's four years, so you put four here. And then obviously here, this is the same error. Somebody can write 160,000 into one minus 0, 0,12 to the power of four, you can do this as well, because you can just say 12 divided by 100, and then you put 0, 0,12. It's very common in the in the schools. But now we have 160,000. So 160,000 here. 160,000 here. So what is then the answer? Into one minus zero comma one two. So now we have this that you raise it to the power. You raise it to the power four. Right, what is this? So the answer to this becomes exactly nine. Um right, so the answer becomes what? So the answer you can write it here. It becomes exactly nine five. Nine five. Nine five nine five one comma two six. So a one hundred and sixty thousand has become ninety five thousand nine hundred nine hundred and fifty one. And 26 cents. So in other words, 160,000 has reduced on the reducing balance. It's reduced on the what? On the reducing balance. And that's what we get. Okay. So this is what we get. Okay. We continue. Let's look at 3.3 .3 right now. Assuming inflation. So now we're doing inflation. So inflation is very important because it comes in the exam. So you need to pay particular attention to inflation and deflation. Inflation and deflation. Assuming inflation over the four years is determined at 9% per annum, calculate the current 
the current price of a similar new car round off the answer to the nearest rent. Let me give you two more minutes to deal with inflation. Or just one minute, because it's very easy. Right, now, tell me what you think. In 3.3, .3, we are assuming inflation over the four years is determined, in, is determined at 9%. Calculate the current price of a new car, round off the answer to the nearest rand. How do we deal with inflation? How do we deal with inflation in mathematics of finance? I, I'm not going to lie, sir. I don't know. <laughs> you don't I, know how to deal with inflation, Tenudo. Not really, uh, no. All right. Yeah, because there is a question that is coming on inflation in the exam. So um, you must be prepared to deal with inflation in the exam. So the answer is very short. Inflation is very easy. Now, inflation itself is subject to compound interest, not simple interest. So which means that inflation itself, because now we're, we're assuming inflation over the four years is determined, at 9%. So the inflation is 9% per annum. You need to calculate the current price of a similar new car. Now we are dealing with a new car. So if inflation is in effect, inflation increases prices of items in the stores, right? So if there is an increase, it means that we're gonna use the formula with the plus because there is that increase. Furthermore, we understand therefore that at this point, right, over the four years, remember the car was bought as one at 160,000 into one plus the Interest rate is nine is nine nine percent, so it's nine over one hundred raised to the power four. So you are dealing with one hundred and sixty thousand into one plus nine over hundred because it's nine percent. Right. So the new car is going to be more expensive. A new car is more expensive than. Um, an old car. Why? Because inflation increases the prices of items in the stores. So the things, if inflation is in fact, things are becoming more expensive. If a loaf of bread was 10 rand and inflation is included, then the loaf of bread after some time is going to be more expensive. So it means that the price is increasing. So they use the formula with the plus. So you put the plus here. And 160,000 was the price of the car. You know, because in the here you need to calculate the value of his current car. If he paid this one for it and it depreciated this on a reducing balance. Okay. So in other words, assuming inflation of these for four years, calculate the current price of a similar new car. Now, the car was 160,000, but now it's not going to be 160,000. You see, if you say the car was 160,000 four years ago, if you go there now, you want to buy a new one, it's not going to be the same price. So if you go to a shop and you say loaf of bread was five rand, so it's going to increase, right? So if it increases, then it increases according to that. So you have 160,000 into one plus nine divided by 100. Okay, we're doing finance today um, to the power four years. So here is the hint here. So the new car is gonna cost two, two. Five, eight, five. Two, two. Five, eight, five. Three, comma, Zero six two 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 five eight five two two five eight five three comma zero six. Okay, so it's going to cost that much. It's going to cost 
um, exactly that much. Two, two, five, eight, five, three comma zero six. So that is it's 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 um how much it will actually most certainly cost there. Okay, that's what it will actually cost there. So um that is what you're supposed to do in this question about inflation. Okay, this video is being recorded. So I'm going to send you this video. I'm just discussing a worksheet here. So there are lots of questions on, 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 on finance. So we're looking at how finance is going to come in the exam. So expect uh, these kinds of questions uh, there at Senulu that is coming very shortly. Okay, let's look at the dealer because now the car dealers also now, they expect more revenue. They, they expect more money, right? So um, if they expect more money, uh, yes, in October. Yeah, we are stressed up and relaxed, Manji. Because, yeah, because the thing is still going there. I'm sure it will clear out. It will clear up, but that report, that report is showing that it's still going to the university. So, yeah, be at ease, you know, yeah, and relax. So don't stress much about the Irish thing. And the fact that it's still going, it's still going. It's like you now they sent you a message that is not there yet. Yeah, so yeah, it's still. You need to relax, you know. Um, because it's it's it, the, the the report is there that it is it is still it is still clearing up, you know. Okay, guys, can you can you do now three point four? The dealer of uh, the car. Okay, I'm giving you like two minutes. We do 3.4 and, and then we shall do it together just now. Try the 3.4. Yeah, there's some yeah, I'm having some um some high school kids who are doing mathematics now. Never mind. Yeah, but yeah, we're doing we're just doing worksheets. They're practicing um and I'm preparing them for exams. Um uh, yeah, but I was saying Yeah, but obviously at this point, the thing is, uh, the system has detected that Iris is there. Iris is there. And that is what they want. They want only an Iris report. And it is already there. And so at this time, you can't worry because it's hours after already. The thing is already on the system. It's already in the pipeline, you know? Since it's already in the pipeline, is is like it's like spilled milk. You know, if if you have spilled milk, um, if somebody um 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 already, it has happened. Everything is there. The iris is there on the system, and the system has detected it. So you're good, because what they want is just some evidence. Even if the system was because the system malfunctions. Yes, it's a, it's a, uh huh. That's the thing. So it happens. If it, what they want is just the system must say this, there's something. It must say there's something because they know sometimes it, it crashes, sometimes it starts late because it's not running properly. They know that. Yeah, so yeah, take it easy then. <laughs> so do, do not stress at this time. That's, there's nothing much you can do. In, but that message is very important. It's saying to you, relax, take a deep breath. And it's saying to you, it has been detected it's on the system. And all is well. You did very well. Yes, just in case. But yeah, with this email, now that you received that it has been detected on the system that is there, your results will be released for sure. I really cannot expect because you needed just an email confirming that. Yeah, well, I think that it's no longer necessary now. With this email, it's no longer necessary because they've sent you an email from the system saying it is there because you just needed that, you know? You just needed that to say, is it, did it go? This Irish thing, did it go? And this email is saying, yes, it went, you know? Yeah, so all is well.
All right. <laughs> That's fine. So we keep in touch then, um, Zay. We keep in touch in October. No stress. Okay. Yeah, that's okay. We'll discuss that. We'll discuss that. Yeah, no stress. We'll discuss that. All right. All the best. All the best. Okay. Thank you. Please come again. All right. Yeah. So come on, Okay. All right. Thanks a lot, then. <laughs> okay. Goodbye. Mm -hmm. Right, so now we're saying the dealer offers Kai a 12% discount on the price of the new car. So because they are giving this guy a discount, the dealer offers Kai 12% on the price of the new car. Calculate how much cash he must still find to pay for the new car after trading in the old car and withdrawing the investment. So there are a couple of things here. He must withdraw the investment. Okay. So Kai needs to withdraw the investment. But also, he, he must pay for the new car. Simultaneously, he must trade in you must trade in the old car to get the new one. What are we supposed to do here? Calculate how much cash he must still pay. After trading in his old car, getting the investment, because when he trades in the old car, there is some money that it is worth, that it's going to be used to make sure that the new car is not, is not very expensive. You see? So let's do this one together. 3.4 is just for max. Very, very easy. I wanted Mopilo to join us, Tenulu. Okay, um, just to do this finance because it is there both both sides. Right. Right, 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 right. This is what we get. Okay, anyone done? Anyone home? We're still thinking about it. Okay, we're going to discuss a lot of finance. We're just starting finance now, but there are a lot of finance. We're going to discuss a lot of probability together and other things. Okay, look at this one here. Um, what is the price of that discount? 12% discount means the price. Now we need to find the price after... The price after discount. So the price after discount is, remember that because it's subject to inflation, the new car now we know how much it costs. It's gonna cost 22,583, uh, 5853,06, right? So we have two, two, Five eight five three comma zero six. Okay, twelve percent discount. So twelve percent discount, it would mean that um they're gonna reduce by twelve percent. So this guy will have to pay what twelve percent discount. So you are saying hundred. 100% minus 12%. We are saying 100% minus 12%. So in other words, this is exactly 2258530,06 times. Now this 100 minus 12 is 88%. So in other words, this guy must pay 20, uh, must pay 88% of 
what the, the car is worth. And then now you must find 88% of what the car is worth. So you find 2258.5, 0 0.06 times 88 divided by 100. So we continue. So now it means that this one is 1987. 50 1987 1987 50 comma 69 so in other words this guy must pay this amount of money he was pay he must pay 198750 um and 69 so that is the amount of money that this guy must pay he must pay 88% because he has just been given 12% discount so 12% discount means from 100, you subtract 12%. So in other words, you must pay the 88%, okay? On the price of the new car. Because now, how, did we, how do we know the price of the new car? Because we know that the, the, his old car was 160,000, but the inflation was 9% over the four, the four years. And therefore, we calculated that um, if inflation is 9%, after four years, 160,000 is gonna become 22 that. Okay, so we get that piece of information, but this is not enough in 3.3 .3 because they want the, how much you must still pay. So he actually, the this is the price of the new car. It's gonna be exactly these, 198,750,69. So now the couple of things obviously that we need to consider here. What do we need to consider? We need to consider the fact that um, the investment, how much will the investment be? Let's look at the investment because now he invested 60,000. How much will the investment be? Well, the investment is 60,000. He invested 60,000. Four years ago, he invested 60,000 at an interest rate of 9,6%. Okay, so it's compounded monthly. So you have 60,000 into one plus the 9,6 is exactly 9,6 divided by 12 is compounded monthly, divide by 100 here. And then obviously it is a, uh, um, raised to the power, right? So now you need to just uh, determine what this is worth. So it's compounded monthly is 12 times four because it's four years we're dealing with. So you can even say this one is 48 at the top. So it's 60,000 into one plus 9,6 divided by 12 times 100 into 48 and therefore what is this here this is exactly 87 this is exactly 87 okay right it's exactly 87 Um, right, it's exactly 87, 954, comma, 24. So the investment of 60,000 is gonna be worth, worth like 87,000. So the 60,000 is gonna be like um, 87,000. So how much does this guy, this guy needs to pay? He still, he needs to pay He needs to pay. He needs to pay one nine eight. One nine eight seven five zero. Okay, we have load shedding. Has your load shedding started? Um, has your load shedding started? 
Not yet, not, sir. Not yet. Okay, it's starting in like six minutes, right? Yes. All right, that's fine because it's like six minutes to six. Okay, I'm just I'm just checking the time. Right, so you have 198750 is the price of the new car, but now he must uh, um, subtract from it. Um, how much must he subtract? So he must subtract from it the a couple of things. He must subtract from it the 3.2, right, which is 95 that. So he must subtract 3.2, 95, 95, 1,26. But he must subtract again 87. 87954,24. What answer does this come down to? So now we get the answer. Okay, so we might just get the answer to this. Okay, we need to use a calculator. So you still need to pay 198.750.69 minus 9595.1.26 minus 87954.24. You still needs to pay some amount of money. How much is it? You must 14, pay 14,000. 45.19. Yes, for 19. Thank you so much. Uh, right. So, obviously, this is the amount of money that you must pay. You must pay um, 14,845,19,19. So, this is the amount of money that um he must pay okay so we actually were able to get this one and now because there's low trading at six um for our friend i'm gonna stop here and then uh we're gonna talk about when we shall meet again so you let me know um um uh, this one um Lukuku, you let me know um if tomorrow you're gonna be out of, of school early and then um we can um, therefore, be in a position to schedule something tomorrow at four. Okay. Um, if not, um, we can schedule something for because uh, tomorrow, yeah, it, well, anyway, it's Saturday tomorrow because today is Friday, right? Okay, so yes, sir. that's okay. So, you let me know Friday, Saturday, tomorrow, Saturday, what time it can be any time of the day, it can be 8 a.m., it can be 6 a.m., it can be 2 p.m., it can be 4 p.m. If you're going to play soccer, you let me know. We're going to be playing soccer from this time to this time. At this time, we're going to be back. And then we can start. So please just think about tomorrow and let me know so that we can continue. I want us to do more finance, more inflation, more deflation, uh, more nominal rates, more effective interest rates, and so on. Yeah, but thanks a lot for joining us. And we'll talk to Tenulo as well. So Tenulo is going to let me know. I hope he's back home now uh, from school. But yeah, um, I wish we will we'll discuss even later on. Even the discussions can even run at night, as late as 8 at night or 10 at night, 10 to 12 midnight, or from 12 midnight to, uh, normally we do two hours, so from 12 midnight to like 2 in the morning, or 2 in the morning to like 4 in the morning, okay? If you're not going to school by the next day, I don't want people to be dozing and, and falling asleep on their way to school. But yeah, thanks guys, we'll talk then, and goodbye. Bye, sir. Bye, sir. Okay, bye guys, we'll talk.